Welcome friends. Today I will make a video of how to make a road alignment in AutoCAD. So let's start. To make a road alignment, you need the independent coordinate of all the uh, intermediate point. For example, uh, during my survey camp, uh, I have calculated the northing and easting. Uh, and that uh, same data I will take in this video. <coughs> you have to arrange northing, easting, and uh, Arial uh, in this format. In this format, first you have to, in first column, you have to write uh, serial number, then after that, you have to write the x coordinate. x coordinate means the easting, then after that, you have to write the y coordinate. And the y coordinate means the northing. Then after that, you have to write the z axis, uh, z coordinate. Z coordinate means the reduce level. In z coordinate, you have to write the zero for all the point because the reduce level data is not necessary to make the road alignment. And at last, you have to write remarks. For example, uh, this first data uh, is of intermediate point zero. Intermediate point zero indicates the inter uh, the starting point of road alignment and the IP to bell intermediate point IP station to bell indicate the end point of road alignment <coughs> between IP not to IP to bell uh, you can see uh, there is a A and B point so uh, so here A and B point indicate a point of bridge axis A, A indicates the uh, starting point of bridge axis and B indicate the uh, ending point of bridge axis. <coughs> Similarly, you can see C1 and C2. C1 and C2 indicates the starting and end point of culvert. So, then in this way, after uh, arranging the northing, uh, easting, easting, and northing coordinate uh, in this format, you have to open a AutoCAD. After uh, opening AutoCAD, you have to import all the data from the MS Excel to the AutoCAD. So for importing uh, data from MS Excel to AutoCAD, you need, a, you need to open a SWDTM. You need to open a SWDTM. To open a SWDTM, just double click on SWDTM. But you have to consider a one main thing before opening a SWDTM. To open a SWDTM, you must first open a AutoCAD before opening a SWDTM. Otherwise, SWDTM will not open. <coughs> so after opening a AutoCAD, open SWDTM. Then after opening, it will display like this. Then you have to then you have to select all the point of northing, uh, easting, and northing, and Arial and all, all this format file uh, like uh, this way. Then you have to click one point from SWDTM, then click on import point from Excel, and then click on import point. Then after clicking on import point. All the points are imported in AutoCAD. But you are thinking in a AutoCAD in this space nothing is displaying. So for displaying all the point imported in uh, imported in AutoCAD, you have to just double press the uh, scroll down button. And after pressing uh, double press uh, of scroll down button of mouse. You can see all the point is appearing here. You can see the small dotted point. All these point are of the uh, intermediate station from IP not to IP to bell. That is from from the beginning uh, to the ending of road alignment. Uh, you can zoom in and you can see IP. You can return uh, uh, here return IP not and to the next point. You can zoom in. You can see uh, return IP not in this way uh, for all the point. Uh, the name is written because uh, we have written the remarks uh, in MS Excel. Then after that, you have to click on uh, alignment. 
from SWDTM. Then you have to uh, then you have to select draw alignment. Then you can uh, see here uh, in AutoCAD written uh, specify a start point. You have to specify start point. Start point is IP not. Then you have to click on IP not. Then just zoom it. After zooming in, click on IP not. And then after clicking on IP not, you have to join all the point uh, ranging from IP not to IP two bell. Then uh, in this way, join all the point. Just click on this uh, dot dot uh, dot symbol written beside the IP three or this point number. In this way, join all the point from IP not to IP two. You can uh, see here the point A is written. Point A, A is for bridge axis. Then click on uh, point B at this at this dot point. Then zoom out. Then zoom in. Just you have to zoom in and zoom out by the uh, scroll button, and you have to double press the uh, scroll down button uh, to bring this move tool. And you have to select all this point with the help of mouse. Then in this way you have to select. In this way, select all the point. After then IP nine, zoom in. Then you can see here written C one, C one and C two is for the point is for the culvert point. That is the drainage structure for passing the uh, small amount of water. Then click on uh, the the second last point IP eleven. And at last, the click on the last point IP two bell. Just zoom in. Then after clicking on the last point, press Enter key. Then after pressing Enter key, after pressing Enter key, uh, yeah, Enter key. You have to click on alignment, then choose interactive alignment. After choosing interactive uh, alignment, click on select. After selecting, uh, after click on the select, you will see this dialog box. Then uh, press, uh, then uh, type zero, then uh, click on OK. Because for the initial point, we consider the zero. Then. Uh, Enter initial change for for initial change. Uh, type zero, then click on OK. Then after clicking on clicking on OK, here it will select an object. So I have to select. So I have to click at the beginning or near to the beginning. So after clicking here, this dialog box will appear. Then click on yes. Then after clicking on a yes, you have to enter the radius of all the intermediate point. Like uh, uh, you have calculated, you must have calculated in the MS Excel. For IP node, the radius is zero as usual because for the starting point the radius is always zero, and for the ending point the radius is always zero. Then for IP node, uh, the radius is uh, 100. IP2 for uh, IP2 radius is 80. IP3 radius is 25. In this way, all the uh, all the IP station radius is calculated. Then, then you have to enter the radius of all the IP point. Uh, and here you can see for uh, after IP three A and B is written. So, uh, uh, but SWDTM will consider A and B as IP four and IP five, and it will consider IP four as a 
uh, IP6 because IP4 and IP4, uh, IP5 is A and B then IP4 is IP6 for SWDTM so don't be confused about this then again open uh, uh, then it has already open and you can see here uh, IP number in IP number you can see 0 is written so for 0 the radius is already 0 so you don't have to change it then click on this arrow button after click on this arrow button you can see the IP number is changed in this case IP number is 1 and for IP 1 the radius was 100 similarly uh, for the IP 2 to IP 2 well so you have to just change the radius of all the point then, uh, then click on this change button for IP number 1 for IP number 1 the radius was 100 then click on ok then, uh, then again click on this arrow button then click on this change for IP 2 the change was 80 then, then uh, again click on this arrow button then click on change then for IP 3 the radius was 25 IP 4 IP, uh, sorry then I click on this arrow button for IP 4 the radius was 0 because IP 4 is for the point A that is for the bridge axis uh, beginning point then again and here is already written 0 so uh, let it be then, then click on arrow button then after clicking the arrow button IP5, IP5 is for B, so for uh, uh, B is for the ending point of bridge axis, so the radius will be 0, then, I, then I click on the arrow button, then you can see the IP6, IP6 means, means IP4 in real case, so you have to write the radius of IP4 in IP6, in this way you can write, and I have a uh, you have uh, understood this then, uh, then open uh, in this way then for IP6 the radius was 36 that is for IP4 then uh, again click on this arrow button then uh, IP5 uh, sorry that is, then click on change then type the radius 130 for IP7 then again click on arrow for IP8 the, the radius was 80 for IP9 the radius was 35 for IP10 the radius was 200 for IP11 the radius was 25 for IP12 IP12 means the callback point C1 so the radius will be 0 IP13 means C2 so the, the radius uh, will be 0 uh, here also then again click on this arrow button then IP14 for IP14 the radius will be 40 then for IP15 the radius will be 30 for IP16 the radius will be 0 because IP16 is the end point all this radius we have taken from this calculated data from MS Excel we have to just type all the, uh, the radius of all the intermediate point uh, in this SWDTM then after this you have to click on this option button then, uh, then click on set width in width you have to type 15 for the set width uh, for the road width road width can be 15 uh, uh, for a two lane it, uh, it is 7.5 in this case I am taking a 15 for the road width then click on ok uh, after writing 15 then you have to click on the, uh, tick on this box after setting this uh, road width then ticking, after ticking on this uh, width you can see the road width is appearing here then uh, then again click on option button then, uh, then click on set change interval you have to set the change interval in this case I am setting the change uh, interval as 30 30 means the change in uh, interval will be multiple of 30 like for example 0, 30, 60, 90 in this way from the beginning to the ending point then after setting the uh, change interval just tick on this change 
then after then after ticking on this changes the changes will appear in the road alignment you can see here then then after this you have to click on draw final alignment then after clicking on the draw, draw final alignment your road alignment will be ready then you have to close this then you can see uh, your road alignment is ready in this way you can draw road alignment uh, with the help of SWDTM, MS Excel and AutoCAD. So if you like my video, uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video.